वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स सो टुडे वी हैव अ वेरी एक्साइटिंग प्रोजेक्ट बेस्ड ऑन ई एस पी थ्री टू सो फ्रॉम द टाइटल ऑफ दिस वीडियो यू कैन गेस डैट वी आर गोइंग टू मेक आवर ओन गेमिंग कंसोल यूजिंग एन ओले डिस्प्ले पी एस टू जॉइसिंग मॉड्यूल एंड अ पावरफुल ई एस पी थ्री टू बोर्ड सो सो आवर गेमिंग कंसोल कंसिस्ट ऑफ ओले डिस्प्ले सो दिस इज द ओले डिस्प्ले विच वी आर गोइंग टू यूज फॉर आवर प्रोजेक्ट एंड this is the ps2 joystick module uh, which will be serve as uh, the primary input device allowing us to uh, allowing us for the precision control and we will use esp32 as our pa uh, power module the esp32 board is going to be the heart and soul of our game console with its powerful processing capabilities uh, ample memory and built in wifi and bluetooth Let's jump to the circuit diagram of our project. So this is our circuit diagram here. As you can see, this is the ESP32 board, and this is the PS2 joystick and OLED display. The VCC and uh, positive pin of the PS2 joystick uh, is connected to the our uh, five volt pin of the ESP32. The both ground pins of uh, PS2 joystick and OLED display connected to the ground pin of the ESP32. the vrx vry and sw pin is connected to 34 33 and 32 pins uh, of the esp32 respectively and and the sck and sta pin of oled display is connected to the our 21 and 22 pin number of the esp32 basically our 21 number pin is determined for the sta uh, purposes uh, and the 22 pin number is determined for the sck purpose okay so this is we are done with the circuit diagram let's move to the software requirement for this project we will uh, need arduino ide to write the code for this project you must have uh, the esp32 environment created for arduino ide to code uh, you can check out my last video for setting up arduino ide for esp32 on your pc it is a very important part and if you miss it it may cause you a lot of problems uh, i will put uh, the video link in the description okay so for this project we will need three different libraries the first one will be the var library the second one will be the ada fruit gfx library and the third one will be the ada fruit uh, ss11106 so uh, the var library is, uh, is an essential part for the arduino framework providing a specified way to communicate with devices using the i2c protocol basically our oled display we have the i2c uh, connected to our oled display okay so the var library will help for that then the adafruit gfx library is a graphics library that specifies the creation and rendering of the shape text and image on displays okay and the last one adafruit ss1106 library is a specific library designed for controlling the ss1106 based only display in our case we are using this display okay so one mistake most of the people do while working on the adafruit ss1106 with esp32 is that they go to uh, chrome and they basically download the uh, Uh, they search adafruit ss1106 and download the first library they got get but uh, in this case as uh, the esp32 is a third party board which uses arduino ide as a coding environment and it will require a specific library so let me take a few moment to show you the difference between both uh, the library available for uh, esp32 and the arduino board okay So as you can see, I have both the library open. This is Ada for Ada Level One Zero Six. This is for the uh, Arduino board, Arduino Uno, Arduino Mega, or Arduino Nano. Any Arduino board you can use this library. And this is for the ESP Eight Two. So the difference you can spot that uh, here the ESP Eight Two Six Six and ESP Thirty Two boards are defined in this library, but in the Uh, in the library which is provided by the arduino there is no uh, mention of this board as uh, as i earlier told that esp32 is a third party board okay now let's move to the code 
so we'll be uh, so first we will be starting by including the necessary libraries the wired adder for gfx and adder for ss double one zero six so first of all you have to download this library so you can go to my link uh, the link will directly redirect to here so i uh, included the gfx library the both ss double one zero six this is for the arduino boards and this is for the esp32 board and this is a circuit diagram which I previously showed and this will be the main code. Okay, so you can go directly download and download the zip file. So once it downloaded, uh, you can go to here and go to downloads and open this. So here you have all the zip uh, libraries. So you can to import the library, you can go to the, uh, uh, go to the sketch, include library, add zip library, go to your downloads, open this. Okay, just a second. Now to first unzip this, okay. Okay, so here we have all the libraries, okay. So you can go to the sketch, include library, add zip library, go to the desktop, uh, we have Nifuller 2. So here you can uh, add all the library, just you select and open, the library will be added, okay. So I already have added, uh, added the library, as you can see, I have all the libraries in my uh, ESP, uh, in my Arduino ID. So after adding the library, uh, moving on, uh, we defined some constant joystick VRX, VRY and SW, 32, 33, 34 pins. Next, represents the pin connected to the joysticks X axis, Y axis and switch respectively. Uh, then we have defined the screen width and screen height. And define the I2C uh, pins, uh, STA and SCL pins, okay. Uh, Moving to the setup function, we initialize the serial communication and start the I2C bus, okay, uh, here, as you can see. And uh, initialize the display using the SS110 switch uh, cap VCC, uh, okay. Then we clear the display and uh, set the text color to be white and uh, we define the sec uh, text size also, also to the one and then and we uh, after that after setting the text we position the cursor and we printed maze game and uh, ready to play with a delay of 200 uh, milliseconds okay after that uh, let's dive into the loop function here we read the analog values from the joystick x uh, joystick x and joystick uh, y axis and x axis okay and uh, based on the joystick input we update the player position by modifying the uh, player X and player Y variables. If the X value is less than 300, we decrement player X ensuring that it doesn't go below zero. Uh, on the other hand, if the X axis value is greater than 700, okay, if the X axis value is greater than 700, we increment player, uh, player X making sure it doesn't exceed the screen width, okay, screen width minus one. We perform the similar check with Y axis. If the Y axis values goes less than 300, we decrement the player Y. Uh, y uh, um, uh, again ensures it stays within the valid range. Uh, if the Y axis value is greater than 700, we increment the player Y while considering to the screen height. Uh, okay, considering to the screen height. Finally, we clear the display, set the text size to the one and set the cursor uh, coordinates to the uh, player X and player Y, okay. We print the character pre using the using this command and you can uh, use any variable here. Uh, so it's n uh, not an uh, issue. And we also introduce a 100 second uh, mi uh, delay, okay. So once you run the code, the code continuously read the joystick input updated updates the player's coordinates on the OLED display and display the characters P uh, in my case and at the corresponding location. Okay, so let's uh, upload the code in our ESP32. Okay, so you have you can you have to go to the tools first select the board. You can go to the bo uh, 
board ESP32 and select the ESP32 dev module and you can uh, then select the port okay in my case uh, my communication port is COM5 uh, if you watch if you go and watch my uh, previous video you will know that why I'm selecting the COM5 port okay after that you have to compile the code let's upload the code while uploading uh, for uploading first our code will compile then go to the uploading so while uploading the code make sure you press the uh, boot button in your uh, ESP32 so yeah I pressed the uh, boot button in my ESP32 so the code is uploading as you can see as you can see the code is uploaded and the live, uh, let's move to the li live demonstration of the project okay so as you can see as soon you upload the code it will show uh, ready game ready to play okay and uh, you will see the P which is the character which we put in the code as you know and as I'm moving the joystick you can see that the player is also moving so this is basically the uh, you can create the maze game uh, using the joystick so you can see that I'm moving the joystick as per the player is player letter P is moving so thank you very much for uh, tuning in uh, and we will be uploading more ESP32 videos uh, come uh, soon so guys see you later bye bye